morning, Stinky. I brought you breakfast. Thanks, Doc. You stay out of trouble now. Sure will. Thank you. Stay now. See you later. Can you hear me, love? Daisy. Yeah, baby, this is on its way. It'll be okay. Come here, princess. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. What's with all the bandages? Is she burnt or something? No, that's Daisy. She has epidermolysis bullosa. She was born with skin as fragile as butterfly wings. Over the years, the chronic scarring and inflammation has caused her to develop skin cancer. The bandages are there to protect her. I was thinking Daisy hasn't got long left, so it's best we don't disturb her. Emma, um... Em, who is that? Stinky. Oh, he's harmless. He's a gentle lost soul that we're trying to save. really like to meet you. Sorry, my daughter. She'd like you to come in and meet her. Please. Hey, you smell as bad as I do. What? You stink like me. Well, I don't call me stinky for no reason. Nice to meet you, stinky. I'm Daisy. You don't smell like daisies. I guess not. Maybe they should call me Stinky Number Two. <laughs> That'd be funny. Stinky One and Stinky Two out to stink up the world. <laughs> I 
know what? It's actually not that bad. You do kind of smell of daisies. How long have you had the air burn? EB. They call it EB. Thanks. I was born with it. Just over 13 years. Oh. What's wrong with you? I mean, when I saw you earlier, you looked like you were dying, and you do stink like me. You look old, and I must have your her age. So you must be dying like me, right? Look, I'm an addict, OK? What? What to? Anything, everything, really. How long have you been an addict? What's your pig called? Porkers. Porkers. That's a good name for a pig. It could be stinky number three. <laughs> stinky number three. <laughs> No, I didn't choose to be like this. I don't understand why you choose to be the way you are. I didn't choose to be like this either, all right? What do you know? You're just a little girl. You haven't seen the things I've seen, all the pain, the hurt. I haven't. Pain, hurt. I live with it every day. <sighs> What's the point, all right? You're just a kid. You're too young. Wait till you're older, then you might understand. But there is no older me. I'd be lucky to make it to my 14th birthday. Wouldn't it be great to make it to my 16th? To have my first kiss? I dream about all that. But my reality is that I have no future. The things you've seen and felt doesn't give you the right to give in. It doesn't give you the right to stop living.
I think we should tell Emma. Or maybe I should tell Stinky that she likes him. Yeah, that sounds better. And he has to ask her out on a date. And I could tell him that she likes to go on picnics. And he has to buy her flowers. What kind of flowers? Daisies. I am. Um, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is why I walk home. I've never seen you here before. Are you okay? I want to say no, because I'm usually not. I really am okay. Got my whole life ahead of me. No. I went to public school. Good friends growing up, a good family. But you didn't know that about me. I bet you thought I was some bum that never did anything, never finished school. It's always out of it. Well, I wasn't. I never said that. I could have been a doctor. I could have helped Daisy. Could have. But I didn't. And then when things got really ugly, I. Turn my back on life. Well, you see. Sorry, you've um, you've probably got something important to do. Well, actually, I've uh, got some spare time. You've got a boyfriend or a husband, nice family to get back to. Uh, no, no, nope, nope. I live with a friend. Haven't been lucky enough to meet the one yet. You know, it's not as easy as it seems. That. Really. <laughs> Any man would be lucky to have you as their wife. Sorry. Just keep love. You know, I come here a lot when I need time to think. I always see things clear afterwards. I try not to think. It tends to get me in a rut. However, all I've done is think since I met Daisy. Wanna wanna start again, but I don't know how to go back. I've hurt so many people. Sometimes it's good to go back to where life started falling apart, to where it all went wrong. A year fighting for queen and country in a war that I'm not sure was even justified, and... I don't, I, I don't think I can go back there. I didn't realise you've been to war. Innocence died on my command. I'm trying so long to just erase that year. It's it's so hard. Look, I know it's hard. It's really hard. But we all want to run and forget something. But the past is just what we have to accept. Tink flew to his shoulder and begged, and when Wendy raised her arm again to plead for the fairy, Peter gave in and said it would only be for a week. But what should be done with Wendy? Let's carry it into our home, said Curly. No, said Peter, she's too ill. We must build a house around her. Boys, bring all the best things from our home.
sorry, Mum. Get you cleaned up. If you need anything, I'm just downstairs. Like this. <sighs> Proud of you, son. There you go, Princess. Thanks, Stinky, but don't you want to give these to Daisy? What? She's in the intensive care room. Thank you. So long, stinky number two. What were you? Some things to do. For a whole month. That's a long time for a 13 year old. You look great. Thank you. 
tomorrow. For living life again. You don't have to thank me. I should be thanking you. For really seeing me. You mean for smelling you? Hey. Don't forget who stinky number two is. We're in it together, remember? Sticky number three's missed you. <laughs> nice to see you having some fun, Daisy. Hi, Em. Who's your friend? Is he there? Pia is, um, Pia. Nice to finally meet you. It's uh, lovely to finally meet you too. What are you doing just standing there, Stinky? Why don't you give her mother flowers you got her? Ain't they beautiful? He picked them especially for you. <laughs> Thank you. It's really sweet of you. Um, will you stay a while? I, uh, I guess I can stay for a while. Would you read this? It's Daisy's favourite book. Mr and Mrs Darling have three children. Wendy, John and Michael. Kept an eye on their charges from her bed. Wendy did see Peter again. He came to say goodbye before he and Tink flew home and asked Wendy to come with him. Mrs Darling said no, but when she saw how sad Peter looked, she agreed that Wendy could visit for one week every year. So each spring, if Peter remembered, he would fly back and take Wendy away for more adventures in Neverland. Gotta go. 